Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 11, 8, 9 from the practice final. Find the radius of convergence and the interval of convergence of the series sigma n varying from 1 through infinity x to the power n divided by n to the power 4 times 4 to the power n. Anytime the question is radius of convergence or interval of convergence, the first step that you would do is to use the ratio test. So we'll use the ratio test. Limit as n approaching infinity absolute a n plus 1 over a n equal to l, where l is less than 1 would mean the series is absolutely convergent and hence convergent. If it is equal to l but l is more than 1, um, the series is absolute is, is divergent and it's equal to 1. If the limit value is equal to 1, that then the test fails and you have to apply a different test. So now we'll start off um, doing a n plus 1 over a n. So n changes to n plus 1. So x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 to the power 4 times 4 to the power n plus 1 divided by a n. So I am going to take this expression and then flip it. So it is n to the power 4, 4 to the power n divided by x to the power n. Uh, we will simplify this. So this will be just x here. And 4 to the n, 4 to the n plus 1, it will be just to the just 4 over there. So we are left with x times x divided by 4 times n to the power 4 over n plus 1 to the power 4. So it is x divided by 4 times, you write this as n over n plus 1, everything raised to the power 4. So we have x over 4 times um, within the parentheses you divide the numerator and the denominator by n. So we get x to the power 4 times n over n 1, n plus 1 over n. So you break them up into two parts n over n which is 1, 1 over n to the power 4. Now we will take the absolute and also allow approach n to approach infinity. So limit is n approaching infinity of absolute a n plus 1 over a n equal to limit n approaching infinity absolute x over 4 when n approaches infinity, uh, this part 1 plus 1 over n will become 0 to the power 4. So we are just left with, um, when you allow n to approach infinity, this becomes 0. It's absolute x over 4 times this whole thing in the parenthesis just becomes 1. So which is absolute x over 4. So according to the ratio test, if that absolute x less than 4, absolute x over 4 is less than 1, um, the series is absolutely convergent. So it, be, it would mean it is convergent, absolutely convergent and hence it converges. So this tells us absolute x is less than 4. This would mean radius of convergence or equal to 4. That is the first part of the problem. Then we have to do the interval of convergence. To do the interval of convergence, we have to check um, the endpoints of the interval. Right now we know the series converges on negative 4 to 4. So what happens at the endpoints? So let's assume that x equal to negative 4. Then plug it in into the original series which is the series over here, that is sigma x to the power n, which is negative 4 to the power n, divided by n to the power 4 times 4 to the power n. This would become sigma n varying from 1 through infinity, negative 1 to the power n, 4 to the power n, divided by n to the power 4 times 4 to the power n. So which is sigma 
n varying from 1 through infinity, negative 1 to the power n over n to the power 4. This is an alternating series. By alternating series test, uh, which requires two conditions. One is the positive terms, which is 1 over n to the power 4 series, um, is a decreasing one. The terms are decreasing one. The limit of the nth term equal to 0. So by alternating series test, the alternating series, sigma 1 through infinity, negative 1 to the power n over n to the power 4, is convergent. Next, we would choose x equal to positive 4, which is a final endpoint. Then, if we plug in that into the original series, it becomes 4 to the n over n to the power 4 times 4 to the n. So, if we cancel that, it becomes sigma 1 over n to the power 4, which is a p series with p more than 1, which is convergent. So we notice that at x equal to negative 4 and at x equal to 4 also the series converges, the series convergent. So putting together all this information, we already found radius of convergence equal to 4. That means the series converges in the open interval negative 4 to 4. Now we have proved that at x equal to negative 4 and x equal to 4 also the series um, is convergent so that the series is convergent the interval of convergent become the interval of convergent becomes negative 4 to positive 4 both the endpoints inclusive because at both ends the series is convergent hope this video helps